Hey everybody, how you doing? I just had a bounce on here and give a little bit of a testimonial with respect to how my life has literally done a one, uh, 360 with respect to my health and taking ownership of it and healing myself uh, in the best way that I know how. And honestly, fascia has, the fascia maneuvers has really done a number on me. Like, I mean, I have noticed, I've corrected my bladder. My bladder is behaving the way that it, it should. My insomnia's kicked to the curb with the exception of the full moons, which that's uh, understandable with my birth chart. Um, God, there's just so many. I know that I'm going to miss out on it. But even today doing my maneuvers, I noticed that because it's allergy season, my allergies are not as bad as what they usually are around now. But one of the maneuvers ended up literally just gently releasing some post-nasal mucus that I immediately spat out. And I know that people don't want to hear gross things like that, but these are the realities of our life. So deal with it. Sorry. Um just so many things yes there's been some flare-ups and it's understandable because uh, last week I was reminded of how fierce the fibromyalgia can be and I was able to correct the blurred vision through the maneuvers and certain acupuncture points um, I was able to uh, literally understand that instead of falling into a panic mode of like oh no what's wrong with me now that I know that it's my body's way of voicing what it actually needs and also communicating as to gauging where it is that I am because with every time that I go to do my maneuvers there's always something else that becomes revealed the other thing that is really of a huge contributor for me is um, the awareness that it's heightened with respect to the traumas that were in my blind spot that I didn't know that I even had and that I didn't really give any kind of credibility to that were there and they were my blocks, right? So therefore like having this whole like process where you're doing the work for yourself and everything and then when you feel stuck that something's not working well we don't know what we don't know and I learned that through the landmark curriculum where it's like there's what you know there's what you don't know and there's what you don't know that you don't know so therefore it's a matter for me to remember how to continue to remain studious and have that student hat on in the midst of my own mastery of my own skills so it has been a beautiful journey I got to do my fascia maneuvers outside today in my mother's garden which was an added perk because of course we uh, I don't know about you but I love the sunshine I need the vitamin D definitely and it's a beautiful it's a whole different experience I felt that it opened up so much more my posture seems to be like my shoulders are landing a little bit more aligned. Even my facial features, all the creativity. My my Taurus moon showed up with when I was playing around with the sea moss. And I've created some really beautiful uh, sea moss to the palette that's just infused. I don't do my cooking since last summer has transitioned. Like uh, I've always enjoyed cooking. I love to cook. And now it was almost as if there was, after that divine intervention, there was this insert where I cook literally cropping a feel of the vibration of my energies. And what I put into my food, I know and I have done the research with the deep dives with respect to what ingredients to use to complement the deficiencies that we're living in my body and in order to maintain my health once I'm there and I can feel complete then I know that no matter how delicious and how beautiful something is it's so pleasurable and because I'm I've been naturally eating on an intermittent fasting kind of style and in small portions and only what my body says yes to um, I'm noticing that every time I sit down to eat now, it's like 
the flavors are so explosive in the mouth that it's just so much more pleasurable. So therefore, I don't have any of those dry spells or cravings or like, you know how some people get stuck in the rut of like, I want something special, I want something different, but I don't know what it is that I want to eat. I don't have that conversation in my head anymore ever since I just literally slowed down and made a point of um, honoring, like listening, scanning my body and listening to what it requires for that moment. And every moment of every day is customized because I don't wake up feeling the same way every day. I'm sure that you don't. Sometimes it's this joint sometimes is that problem sometimes it's just lack of sleep sometimes it's maybe you missed out on something that you didn't uh, intake with respect to your nutrients and that has an impact so be kind to yourself be gentle with yourself listen to your body and understand that if you need a rest if you need to pause for a minute don't make yourself wrong for it just make sure and i'm telling you the fascia maneuvers are addictive because, again, with having to have dealt with obesity most of my life, what I've noticed is that it is nothing that requires any form of motivation. It is as a result of the win-win finds in my health is what actually makes a point of keeping me so committed and having it as a priority in my day. It's like I cannot go to bed unless I have done my thing. And I spend every waking moment of my existence literally catering to self. Not in the selfish way if someone might understand that, but just being very um, delicate and, and honoring and respecting whatever my needs are because I have a very clear understanding that if I'm not in a good place, then those that I care about around me are not going to make a point of uh, enjoying my, my presence. It's just because I, in a natural realm of my existence, I'm an all or nothing kind of soul. And therefore, if I'm invested, I'm all in. It's, it's literally that kind of way. And I fit it into all the other things that contribute to my optimal wellness as a whole. Um, I'm hoping that this is enough of a share uh, with respect to at least having you inquire for yourself. It, you don't have to be sick to be trying this fascia maneuver. You can literally jump on and make a point of uh, keeping your health or uh, optimizing it even that much higher for yourself. It's just, you know, what have you got to lose? Give it a shot. If it sticks, great. If it doesn't, okay, next. And for me, my peace of mind is, like I said, when I heard Gary and when he came across my, my uh, Instagram page, I connected to him because when he was speaking, I felt like I was going through one of those Lauren Hill m notions of like uh, killing me softly type of thing because he was speaking my language and he was amplifying a lot of my methodologies and beliefs because I've always been in pursuit of alternative su uh, supplementation, uh, natural way of healing, um, the acupuncture points. I, I've done traditional Chinese medicine for an obscene amount of years and it was what was most, that's what really drew, drew me to him. And then when he um, inserted the language of the energy healing and the the way that the planetary alignments contribute to our well-being and having that heightened knowledge to be able to understand how that plays into your well-being um, it was just literally like I was delivered a gumdrop from heaven so I latched on and once I latched on I was really pleased to see how they have developed such a beautiful beautiful uh, curriculum that is free to everyone 
and it is very sophisticated information delivered in beautiful layman's terms for anybody to understand and quite frankly even if I didn't have the knowledge under my belt with respect to understanding it I'm at the point that for the way that I have quickened since February 18th it's like I wouldn't give a damn if I didn't understand it. It was like, it's working, I'm gonna continue to do it. So I hope that you can understand that this is literally coming from my heart and soul because it just kills me when I'm driving around and I'm watching people with their walkers and I'm wa I can identify with the disformation and the, the alternative ways of maneuvers of these people because they've had to learn to get comfortable and do their day-to-day -day in a new formality and it's very uncomfortable because my first week with the fascia it was an emotional roller coaster for that sole purpose because I was so dumbfounded and jaw-dropping shocked at how all of, I went from dragging my body up the wall and holding on to rails just to get up the stairs and now my agility my energy my vitality is just i don't even recognize who i see in the mirror and for that i am forever grateful thank you gary thank you human uh, garage i'm just ah uh, so 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 grateful thank you